Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I organize all of my daughter's hair supplies, hair accessories. Now, it may seem really simple, but I just want to tell you, it really wasn't because I was storing her things in bins and they were just getting jacked up. So I found a new way to do it and I hope it can definitely help someone, okay? So let's get to the video. All right, first things first. I like to use these beads in my daughter's hair when I do braids or individual twists or cornrows, things like that. I put these on the ends of her hair and when I do her hair in like bubbles, I like to put the barrettes on the ends. I picked these up. These are so cute because these look like they're ready for um, summer. I really like the colors and then I picked up some clear ones as well. These are really cheap. They were $1.49 and I have a whole bunch of these. So when you open these, if you're not careful, these will wind up everywhere. My daughter likes to play with them. They wind up rolling. They get lost and everything like that. Some of these, same thing. When I take these out her hair, can't find them. So let's slide over. It finally occurred to me, put everything in a plastic bag, put it in a bin. So that's what I did. These are the beads that she has in her hair right now, which is why there's not that many in here. But these are clear beads. These are the tools that I use to install the beads onto her hair. I got these from the dollar store. They were about 50 cents or two for a dollar. And these also come in the um, package. I don't think these have it. Yeah, these don't have it. But most of them do come in the package and they're small like that. So how I organized it was by color. So I buy at least three packs of each color just because um, I put around uh, five to seven, eight beads on one braid or one twist. So I usually buy about three packages, three packs of each color, if that makes sense. So this is one pack. I put this in a Ziploc bag. This is another color pack I have. We have purples in here, a whole bag of purple. We have black and white. I have multi-color. These are really cute for summer too. This is one of my favorites. I hope you can see. It's like an iridescent color. It's really cute. Really, really cute. And then I have oops, regular pink. I'm going to open these yellow ones. And I'm going to put them in storage bags. These storage bags here were from the dollar store for $1. Ziploc, so simple, all right? So I'm gonna open these and I'm gonna put these in and I'm gonna show you guys what I do after that, all right? All right, so after I cut these open, that's another reason why I also decided to put them in something different because this plastic is very dangerous and if you store these in here, you, nine times out of 10, you will wind up cutting your hair. So anyway, I have the bag open and I'm just going to pour the bees. So after I pour all the bees into the bag, this is how much I have. This is a quart size bag, so if I do wind up wanting more beads of this color or I wind up losing some and I need to add more, this bag holds enough. So I'm going to seal this up and then I'm going to move on to the barrettes and the bubbles and show you guys what I do with those two. All right. So after I wrapped up all the beads in the bag, I just place them in. I, I fold them actually so it takes up less space. Just fold them from right on top. and. For the bead feeders, I put them right on top of that. These are kind of long. I buy multiples of these because it is less time consuming when you're doing your child's hair. You could add beads onto four, five, six of these at one time, and it saves a lot of time adding it onto the hair. So after I do that, I just cover it. And now we're gonna move on to the next one. Alright, on to the barrettes and the bubbles. Now this pin is a lot bigger because I keep her barrettes and her bubbles in one. So I like to color coordinate everything. <laughs> these are purple. These are all different shades of purple that I use in her hair. I usually use different shades of purple if I want to put purple in her hair. I won't just put one color. I usually mix it up with different shades of purple. This is actually a miscellaneous bag. Um, I didn't have a lot of white or a lot of yellow. So I just put them all together and I'll just use them um, sparingly. I have a blue bag 
again with different color blues. Pink bag, as you can tell, I really love pink in her hair. So these are different color pinks in here, light pinks, dark pinks, and like a clear kind of pink. And the bubbles. These bubbles normally match with her barrettes. If I'm making a style, I will put the bubbles at the roots of her hair and add the barrettes at the bottom. I love these. These are like a pastel color. I thought that's really cute. Maybe for Easter. Um, these are the small bubbles that sometimes I put at the ends of her hair. If I do like a, a twist or something like that, I might instead of using barrettes, I might just put um, little bubbles. There are more pink bubbles. Clear. And we have blue to match those barrettes. Now I'm going to open up these and I'm going to do the same thing. Put them in a the bag and seal it up. All right, so these are all wrapped up. I'm going to fold these over. Put them right in here. And these are the clear I have. Fold these over. Put these right in here. And then I'm going to cover it. I wanted to show you guys this bag. These are bags with all her rubber bands. If I want to do her beads, you can put these in here when you're doing the beads. And this is also filled with um, like scrunchies and things like that. If you need to, you want to put her hair in a ponytail. Or you're doing her hair and you need something to hold the other sections of her hair out of way out of the way. I put these also in a bag. And then this right here is just um, some little ones. These are just little ones. I, I honestly don't use these. But I thought they might come in handy one day. So that's why I got them. I bought these recently from the dollar store. And these are cute when I want to do um, twists in her hair or braids, individual like bigger twists or bigger braids. And I don't want to use the bubbles. I'll put these in her hair different colors. And it looks really cute with the barrettes. All right. So I'm going to add these to this bag and I'm going to seal it up. And I'm going to show you how I store everything. All right, you guys. So this blue bin that you see here, either got from Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. Either way, it wasn't any more than $2. I use this bin to hold everything together and keep it neat. And if I want to do her hair in her room or my room, this is easier to just take with me, pick up and move it. I will say you do not need a bin this size. You can get one bigger or smaller, of course, depending on how much accessories you have for your child's hair. This works tremendously and it saves you so much time because trust me and I know you know, no child wants to sit there for hours getting their hair done. So if you like this video and it helped you, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Stay blessed and remember to do all things with faith. I will see you in my next video. Bye.